I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. Um, you've met him before if you watch this network or listen to the radio. Um, he's running for Congress in Maryland, um, but I met him uh, when he was still working in, as a Secret Service agent um, and protecting this president, and he is full of honor. And he protected the last president uh, as well, Dan Bongino, running for Congress in, uh, in Maryland. And not because you want to, but because of the things that you've seen and the things that you know. Um, yeah. Tell me, tell me what you think is happening with the the government is being used as a weapon to destroy people right now. Yeah, we're at a very dangerous point, Glenn. And thank you for having me. It's always an honor. It's been yeah, a while, Glenn, so it's great, it's great to see you. And congrats on everything with the blaze. It's just taken off. Please, thank you. Um, yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, the president sees government. I think it's because of his lack of experience and maybe community organizing in the past is like this shiny new toy, which for all the disagreements I had with Clinton, Carter, and Bush, there were always limits. There was that line you just didn't cross. We cross it seemingly every day, every right? Every day. We're lost in the scandals. The Jamie Dimon shakedown at Chase, the HHS scandal, Kathleen Sebelius shaking down the healthcare industry Crazy. for money, the IRS. It's to the point, Glenn, where these scandals in and of themselves would be huge, back-breaking scandals, are just lost in the scandal fog in, in this administration. It's worse than people know. I'm not, I'm not so trying me, to scare you. Either. Tell me tell me about the um, uh, NSA. But with knowing you are Secret Service. Yeah. Um, so knowing what you know, tell me what we should be concerned about. You give the government information. It will be abused. It is not a matter of if it'll be abused. Keep in mind, it's only a matter of when. And keep in mind, as you well know, libertarian streak is strong here. When the per line between the personal self and the public self, which you choose when you hit your garage door open in the morning, you act differently in public than everybody does. Mm -hmm. When that line is determined by the government that keeps your information in a trove for at least any time they need it, how are you free? The president is telling us that that is not being stored, that that stuff is not being stored. Right. They also told us that it wasn't being used for personal use until we found that employees, uh, some of them at the NSA, were, were spying on their girlfriends and boyfriends. You know, it's not a knock. I live in a neighborhood that houses a lot of NSA employees. They're very good people, Glenn, but the bottom line is having worked inside the government, it will be abused. It is only a matter of time. So what should we be doing? Because we ring the bell, we talk about it, we look at it, but it's not going it's just not doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, Dan. No, it's not. And the reason is, as I said, that, the, that with the Obama administration, that they're experts in losing you in the fog of scandal. This NSA thing is a back-breaking story. It really is. It, 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 it gets at the very roots. The, the, I'm looking at your roots there in the grass. The roots of what, what liberty means, that flag means something. It's undermining the very principles by which made this country great. How do we do it? Action matters. So make the, ca make the case, Dan, because this is what people will say. I have nothing to hide. We all have something to hide, Glenn. I know you're a believer. I'm a Christian. Uh, Jesus Christ, as far as I know, was the only perfect human being to ever uh, plant his feet on this earth. We are all doing something wrong. The catch is not if we're doing something wrong. Is it are your private wrongs impacting on my civil liberties? If not, the government has no business in your life. We're all doing it's a red herring. If you're not doing something wrong, the question is only when your private wrongs that have no effect on anyone else become exposed for the government's benefit. Or you're, even if you are living a relatively perfect life, if they have all First of all, you can't keep up with the regulation. The no. health care regulation, we quoted something on the air literally today on page 35,560. Yeah. How do you keep up with that? You, Everybody's you know. breaking the law someplace. Right. You know, the regulations are incredible now. Um, but um, if you have all of that information, you know as a Secret Service agent, you know you couldn't just take one piece of information and say, get him. You, you had to look at everything, and you could assemble things, could you not? Yeah. Could you not assemble of things? Yeah. That's what we do. It's only a matter of time before someone slaps an email on your desk that you sent 15 years ago, threatening to punch out your neighbor for not pruning his trees, and says, look what we got against you. I need your information on whatever. Tony, your other neighbor. Like, what? I thought that was private. 
Remember, when the key's held by someone else, liberty means absolutely nothing. That personal and private self are being uh, evaporated. Okay. Um, you have a, um, you are not an establishment GOP guy. No, 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 not and, at all. And um, how is your race going to um, shape up? It's great. I, I, I know when people come after me on uh, both sides, I know I'm doing the right thing. No, exactly Principles right. have to mean something, yeah. so. Um, Dan Bongino, running for Congress in Maryland. If you are in Maryland or you, um, you're looking for a candidate to support, this man is truly an honorable man, and I am proud to call him friend. Back in a minute.